and I'm the creator and founder of this new fantasy trading card game called Gem Seekers. After nearly five years of hard work, I'm ready to share this to all of you, but I need your help in doing so. Unfortunately, I've reached my limitations, both fiscally and digitally, in order to get this project underway, and in order for me to reach the next steps, I need your help and support with manufacturing costs to get the game into your hands, and also to finish digitalizing the remaining creatures and layout of the game so they go from this to this. also be 100% made in America to support our beautiful country and the people who work so hard to make our country live and thrive and I'm excited to be working with Delano Games based out of Michigan to make this happen. By now I'm sure you're wondering what the game is like or what's in it for you. Well, through my love over the years for TCGs like Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, and Yu-Gi-Oh! I tried to create a game that was almost the perfect blend of the three but with my own complete originality at the forefront. Gem Seekers has no affiliation with these games, but I definitely wanted players to feel the resemblance, but in a non-invasive way. A tip of the hat to those legendary companies, if you will. The game is played by selecting one player card. Each player card has their own stats, skills, rewards, perks, and leveling system respective to the player card you choose. After selecting your player card, you will choose the regiment you're playing with, otherwise known as your deck. Each player will look through their regiments to select five cards of their choice and place them off to the side, and then select five cards at random and place those with the other five personally selected cards. This ten card mini deck that you've now created becomes what is known as your mystery draw, which is a perk you can unlock and attain through collecting soul energy in the game, the currency, and how you level up. Throughout the match, the more soul energy points you accrue, the more you're able to level up and spend those points how you want. After creating the mystery draw, players will shuffle both decks, then draw seven cards from your regiment. There are four types of cards. Hex, Fate, Relic, and Seeker cards. Hex scrolls and Fate stones are strategic cards to help assist your regiment positively and or negatively impact your opponent. Fate Stones are high-risk, high-reward cards, where Hex Scrolls most of the time have no consequence. Relic cards are almost like items to improve your team, and Seeker cards are creature or beast cards. In order to help play these cards, you'll need to place down Relic cards known as Gem Fragments into the Active Zone, or the AZ of what is called the Gem Pool. The player must be tactical in how they use their fragments when playing cards, such as Seekers. Seekers are played by the dispatch cost in the top right corner of their card. You will need the appropriate fragments that correlate to the Seeker's elements, and then disarm the utilized fragments and place that Seeker into one of three positions on the battlefield. Fragments, however, can only be used up to three times before they are exhausted and enter the Deactivation Zone, or the DZ. Acquiring six fragments that are active in your AZ can help you fuse them into gems or gamuts, which assist your regiment as the game progresses. Seeker cards are especially assisted by fusing gems and gamuts because you can build them up onto your Seeker to help power them up. A Seeker card has certain stats that needs to be met in order to initiate a thing called the Beam Process. A Seeker undergoes Beam through Battle Experience, Elemental Energy, and Age, which then leads the Seeker into Maturation or Mutation. A Seeker's B plus E plus A equals M. Therefore, it beams to its next stage of life. There are three ways to win the match. One, get your opponent's shields down to zero. Two, absolve Seekers through a process called Starring, which stands for Seize, Transmit, Adapt, and Revive, a way in which you can obtain opposing players' fallen Seekers. Or three, by simply running out of ways to play when you draw your final card from your regiment. So now you know a brief synopsis about the game, and you're looking to support, but what's in it for you? There'll be six different starter decks to choose from, two different styles of booster packs with two different designs to each respective style, and or a box of gems, gamuts, and fragments to help build decks the way you want from scratch. 
will be several different pre-order options, but by supporting Gem Seekers here on Kickstarter, you'll receive a limited edition booster pack, including some rare cards that will be exclusive to you for supporting. And the more you support, the more exclusive content you'll receive. If you order the Ultimate Full Potential Bundle, you'll receive not only the booster pack, but also a very limited edition version of the strongest card in the game known as Kaya Cybrix, the Elemental Divine, which will be extremely rare to come by as the game is made. Thank you everyone for watching, thank you for your support, and uh, through your help I hope that we can make this dream into reality. Uh, for more information, check out the stuff below, and if you guys have any questions, definitely contact me. God bless.